Among the plethora of missiles the U.S. is working on, one candidate looking very promising is the AMG-183A. The USAF conducted the first captive carry flight test of the missile, being developed under the ARRW program, which is a rapid prototyping project of the USAF's hypersonics prototyping program element, in June 2019, while the second flight test of the missile was completed in August 2020. The B-52 Strata Fortress bomber aircraft carried the missile for the test from the Edwards Air Force Base in California. Fortunately, early estimates show that the test was a complete success, but what does this hypersonic weapon have to offer? Well, the first and most obvious advantage of the AMG-183A is its speed. As evident from the word hypersonic, the AMG-183A is fast, but it is not the ordinary fast. The missile, during the test, achieved speeds of Mach 5, which is five times the speed of sound. Another important factor to consider is that being again hypersonic, the missile has the capability to maneuver in mid-air and potentially evade any defense systems that may try to stop it in its wake of destruction. All these things make developing hypersonic weapons the top priority of almost all countries. These kinds of programs exist in the US, Russia, and China. The US is working on several projects to make weapons that can travel faster than sound. As part of the Long Range Hypersonic Weapon Program, or LRWH for short, a hypersonic airframe is being built for the US Army by Lockheed Martin. By the end of 2023, there will be a number of test flights. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, and the US Air Force are testing another futuristic air-to-air -air combat missile design called the Hypersonic Air Breathing Weapon Concept, USAF. The Hawk was a collaborative project of the USAF and DARPA with the goal of developing and demonstrating key technologies for an accessible air-launched hypersonic cruise missile. The long-range missile is designed to fly at speeds of Mach 5 or higher, which increases accuracy and decreases reaction time. US-based firms Raytheon Missiles and Defense, Northrop Grumman, and Lockheed Martin collaborated to develop the idea with Lockheed Martin serving as a rival. Another program worth noting here is the HAC, which stands for Hypersonic Attack Cruise Missile. In order to finish the initial concepts of a hypersonic cruise missile, the Air Force awarded three 15-month sci-fi contracts to Boeing Co., Lockheed Martin Corp., and Raytheon Technologies, Inc. in June 2021. The Raytheon Sci-Fi prototype design for fighter aircraft integration will now be operationalized by the HACM program, which will also yield two operationally useful leave-behind assets. The United States and Australia will continue working together on HACM design and development through the Sci-Fi Agreement, including utilizing Australian test facilities for the initial all-up round flight testing. And although the complete details of the program haven't been released yet, it's probably meant to be a missile that can be fired from an aeroplane and can hold high-value targets at risk in contested environments from standoff distances. And while there are many other US programs that aim to develop new hypersonic missiles, let's focus on another country for now, Russia. The most well-known Russian missile program is Avangard Strategic Targeting Munition. The word Avangard, which means vanguard in Russian, in fact, is thought to be the vanguard of a new type of weapon that recently entered the Russian Strategic Missile Forces arsenal. The American media refers to it as a nuclear nightmare because many of the specifics are unclear. On the other hand, the Chinese called it a masterpiece of the Soviet army, comparing it to the flying nightmare of the West. In addition to this, Russia has developed the maneuverable hypersonic anti-ship cruise missile known as a 3M22 Zircon. The Zircon's range is believed to be 500 kilometers at low altitudes and up to 750 kilometers on a semi-ballistic trajectory. However, the state-run media in Russia claims it to be 1,000 kilometers. It is a two-stage missile with a scramjet motor in the second stage and solid fuel in the first stage. And last but not least, we have the notorious Kinzhal, an aeroballistic missile that is launched from the air and has a range of more than 2,000 kilometers. As the MIG-31K fighter launches this missile, the air pressure in front of it generates a plasma cloud at hypersonic speeds that absorbs radio frequencies and renders the missile radar invisible. According to some credible sources, Moscow has also revealed plans to mount a hypersonic glide vehicle on its Sarmat Intercontinental Ballistic Missile and is currently working on an air-launched hypersonic missile, the KH-95. But as Russia and US progress, China also has its own plan to make hypersonic weapons, with the DF-17 being the most heard of. China's Dongfeng-17 DF-17 hypersonic glide vehicle HGV, powered medium-range ballistic missile MRBM, is intended to attack foreign military installations and fleets in the Western Pacific. The DF-17 passed several tests successfully and is deployed operationally, and while the missile is primarily a conventional platform, it may be equipped with nuclear warheads. 
The system, deployed in 2020, may replace some outdated short-range ballistic missiles, SRBM systems, and this very much aligns with Chinese analysts' assertions that the missile could strike U.S. Pacific bases with its high speed and camouflage. The DF-17, capable of penetrating regional U.S. missile defenses, may go from China to U.S. military stations in Yokosuka, Japan, and South Korea within a maximum range of 2,500 kilometers, 1,550 miles. A new hypersonic intermediate-range ballistic missile called the DF-27 has also been successfully tested by China's People's Liberation Army, PLA, according to a top-secret report from the Joint Chiefs of Staff Intelligence Directorate. The DF-27 has a high probability of breaching American ballistic missile defense and is intended to increase China's ability to hold targets at risk beyond the second island chain. It's also vital to remember that the PLA launched new missiles last year that can hit both ships and ground targets. The leaked document stated that the intermediate-range ballistic missile flew for 12 minutes and covered 2,100 kilometers, 1,300 miles. The DF-27, however, has a range of 5,000 to 8,000 kilometers, indicating that it may reach any target in East or Southeast Asia, as well as a sizable portion of the Pacific, including Guam, according to a 2021 Defense Department report. The new missile is a more deadly carrier killer than its predecessors were due to its increased range and hypersonic glide capability, which allows it to move to elude U.S. and ally missile defenses. Beijing would find this capability beneficial in an attempt to invade Taiwan, though this is not the only situation in which it might do so. Any partner action in Taiwan's defense would be more challenging and expensive if American ships could be kept at bay and American forces in Asia could be attacked whenever necessary. The fact that China recently used its new helicopter-carrying assault ship for the first time in a prolonged deployment is another potentially concerning Taiwan-related disclosure in the leaked data. China also has the Starry Sky 2, a nuclear-capable hypersonic prototype, and the DFZF hypersonic glide vehicle, which has a range of around 2,000 kilometers. But these missiles are just one component of Beijing's rapidly growing arsenal, which it is deploying while it militarizes additional South China Sea territory, strengthens its blue water fleet, increases its presence in the Pacific Islands, and conducts the biggest nuclear buildup since the Cold War. But how do the missiles of these countries stack up against one another? The US AGM-183 flew for more than 1,600 kilometers at a speed of 3,800 miles per hour or Mach 5. Based on this information, we can say that the AGM-183 is conceptually similar to the Russian Kinzhal, but the latter is not launched from a subsonic bomber. Instead, it's launched from a fighter interceptor MIG-31, which is the fastest plane ever made. It can go 1,900 miles per hour, which is Mach 2.5. That is, the Russians add more than Mach 1.5 to their missile speed right away, while the Americans don't. According to a report from the Congressional Research Service, the Kinzhal can travel at Mach 10 for about 2,000 kilometers, so the AGM-183 may lose in the battle of sheer speed. Which country is winning this dangerous game of hypersonic weapons? Tell us in the comments below! This brings us to the end of the video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing you more content like this. See you next time!